Staying in D.C. where a brutal attack this weekend happened in the 8th Street neighborhood. A Senate staffer was stabbed randomly while walking down the sidewalk earlier this evening. Our Adrian Piazza is live near that scene with the details. Adrian, what can you tell us? Well, this... Is this over? This happened when? Oh, an hour ago. Damn. That was a uh, Rand Paul's. Oh, you heard about this? Yeah, Rand Paul, okay. Rand Paul staffers got stabbed. Good okay. evening. Our Adrian Piazza is live near that scene with the details. Adrian, what can you tell us? Well, the suspect in this... Damn, smash. We go, we, we hot tonight, man. <laughs> they were the gladder of news anchors. Case is in custody tonight, and he has a violent criminal history. He was actually serving a 12-year prison sentence up until Friday when he was released. This crime happened on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Solutions? <laughs> Solutions, anyone? <laughs> he was released 12 hours before he did this. Can anyone, oh, man. can anyone tell me, anyone in the chat, please, link is in the description box. If you have anything that resembles a solution, please come up. 12 years, home for 12 hours, and does this. What's the solution? When he was released, this crime happened on violent criminal history. He was actually serving a 12-year prison sentence up until Friday when he was released. This crime happened on Saturday, 24 hours later. Now, the office of Senator Rand Paul oh, no, told Fox 5 in a statement in hours. part this past weekend, a member of my staff was brutally attacked in broad daylight in Washington, D.C. I ask you to join Kelly and me in praying for a speedy and complete recovery and thanking the first responders, hospital staff, and police for their diligent actions. According to the court documents, the victim who works in the office of Senator Paul was walking with a friend on 8th Street near 13th around 5.20 p.m. on Saturday when the suspect 40... I've walked down this block maybe a 1,000 to 2,000 times, somewhere in between there. This is like five blocks from where, I, um, you know, I used to hang out at man. I I mean, well, you know, I take it back. He lasted twenty four hours. So yeah, this, obviously, this place is, but this place is not like that. It's it's rough at night, but it was a different type of crime. It would be like the the Sun Man on Sun Man crime. It was, this type of stuff just randomly attacking people. Maybe you had knockout game or something like that, but that would even be at night. People were knocking out people during the daytime. This is this is like shit you would think could happen in New York or some shit like this. It's, it's getting really bad around there, man. Really, really bad. Um, in a different way. The crime's just different. You know what I'm saying? It's it's different. Like this is Rafael Edmonds kind of like area, like kind of like the area of Rafael Edmonds and um, you know what I'm saying, um operated in and you had a lot of, you know, historically you know, a lot of fucking sun men grow up wanting to be a certain type of gangster, hustler type way. So you do have a a certain type of crime around it, but it's not this. It's not just running up on people, stabbing them. That's kind of beneath a lot of the guys. There, a lot of the guys there are. are it's just beneath them. It's like crackhead crime. When the suspect, forty-two-year-old Glenn Neal jumped out from behind a wall, knocked him to the ground, and stabbed him multiple times, including in the head. The friend pushed Neil off the victim, and they both were able to run away. Court documents say surveillance footage shows the suspect casually getting up and walking in the opposite direction. Police found a knife at the scene, as well as blood on the ground. The staffer was taken to the hospital, was conscious and speaking, but had life-threatening injuries requiring surgery. People who live and work in the area are on edge. We spoke with one local hairstylist who had a lot to say, but didn't want her face shown. I lived about three or four blocks away. I'm in the middle of a war zone and I try to not be desensitized. I try to stay sensitive. I'm so tired of hearing these kinds of stories. 
Mm, also, we just got to do better as a city. As so, is there any sister in this country that can fucking show her face on a news story? I mean, well, we did have the um, we did have Raleigh Fingers down there in um, New Orleans, but other than her, is there anybody that can <laughs> is there anybody that has show their face on a new story, man? Maybe, maybe, I mean, she, maybe, she, maybe she don't want to show it because she hadn't gotten her hair cut yet. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah. yeah, she ain't got her hair did yet. These sisters, man, I mean, this is the type of world they add. They asked for this. Those shoes would stick Star out where I'm from. Gradually getting people the help and the service that they need. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> listen to listen to the fucking liberal shit. This is what I'm saying. Listen to how how fucking they talk. This is a fucking hood booger. Better as a city as far as gradually getting people the help and the service that they need. Tonight, the motive is... Just in case you're confused, she's not talking about the victims. She's talking about the guy who randomly stabbed him. That's what you have to understand about this. Because some of y'all might be confused. You may think she's talking about the victims, but she's talking about getting them the service that they need. She's talking about the fucking guy who just did 12 years and was home in 24 hours and fucking randomly stabbed the staffer. That's what she's... Talking about should put two in his head. That's the service he, he ought to get. Want her face shown? I live about three or four blocks away. I'm in the middle of a war zone, and I try to not be desensitized. I try to stay sensitive. I'm so tired of hearing these kinds of stories. Also, we just got to do better as a city, as far as gradually getting people the help and the service that they need. Ah, you know, have you thought about this? Tonight, the motive is unclear. The court doc. Have you thought about that? The guy's been away for 12 years, right? He, wait until he finds out that he doesn't go back to jail for this. Oh, yeah, he's going to be so upset. It's, a, it's some new shit. Because, I mean, back back when he went to jail, he would have gone into jail for this, for sure. Yeah, he, he probably wanted to go back to jail. Now they're just going to, like, um, give him a court date and he'll, he'll, his trial will be. Kick him back court. out. His trial will be in 2026, and he'll be um. Well, he'll find him. He'll if he if you do enough shit, they are gonna lock you up. So he just gotta try harder. He gotta step his game up. Well, maybe that's what she meant. Maybe that's what she meant about they gotta try harder. Didn't she? Say yeah. That? yeah. Step step your game up, man. Like I'm talking about, like 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 fucking do it for your do it for your grandma, man. Do it for somebody. Do it for your fucking kids or some shit. Step your game up, man. Try harder, man. Um. Oh God, what a fucking crazy ass place. Tonight, the motive is unclear. The court documents show that this suspect did not try to rob the victim or demand anything, but allegedly he did tell investigators that there was a voice in his head telling him someone was going to get him for what he had done and that he was going to get that person first. Again, that suspect tonight in custody. Back to you. Oh, he's trying to get himself like a room and board and like a, in the funny fun, in the funny farm, man. Right, yeah. He's, oh, here's a guy in a suit. I'll just give him a little poke. Yeah, point, exactly. Point, point. Yeah, he's not, no, he's obviously he's obviously working working that angle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, yeah. Um and D.C. police are investigating a string of bank burglaries. Yeah, they are looking for suspects who damaged ATM machines and then broke into banks all in the same day. Our Nana Senya Bonsu, live in Northwest with what we know and who police are looking for. Nana. Nana Centurio Bonsu. Jim and Angie, good evening at this MNT bank here in Adams Morgan is where DC police say suspects 